There you go. I was waiting for Regina to text me. V, a few Zeta Tech corporals walked into an auto shop. The punchline, none came back out. Want you to figure out why. Got noises coming from an auto shop, sounded like a series of explosions. My take, either the roof collapsed or someone's gone cypher psycho. And since I still see the roof here, it's a cyber psycho attack. Death caused by severe concussion, most likely from an IED. Damn, I am so sorry. With these cyber attacks, I always walk in on a whole bunch of dead bodies, and it's pretty tragic, but... So much to disarm, but for some reason... Let me just disarm this. I'm not trying to, like, get bombed in any way. My thing is, with all the traps laying around, how did this cyber psycho pass through? I just... I don't get it. Either this one is able to fly or jump or do some Spider-Man shit. Oh, Gaston Phillips. That's the cyber psycho. And then there's another dead body here, another concussion. But I really don't think it's because of him at this point. I'm doing this because he's giving me lots of experience points, so. Oh! Oh! Ooh, he bombed himself. Chill, my man. I'm not your enemy. Let's talk. Oh, shit. All right. All right. Now I'm your enemy. Let's go. Come on! See, this is why you got bombed. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I am not gonna give you any... Any chance of killing me. Let this be a warning to anyone thinking about buying this shop. Don't be fooled by the fantastic location or top shelf equipment. Because guess what? None of it will be yours, even after you sign whatever agreement the corp gives you. What? You surprised? Well, so was I. I shouldn't have been, though. It was right there in front of my eyes, in black and white. I didn't want to waste my time reading some complicated agreement with more twists than that Apple novel by a certain Virginia. I also didn't bother doing my research, or else I would have found out the shop changed hands three times already this year, and the previous owners disappeared without a trace, except their depths, that is. All I can say is, I've dealt with my fair share of gangs looking for protection money or a one-time heist, but nobody, and I mean nobody, has ever fucked me over quite like the suits at Zeta Tech. So I've got only one answer for them. A wrench to the face and advice for their fingers. Oof. So, bad deal gone wrong. He got his revenge. And that's why a whole bunch of people died. Let me see if I can find any clues or something. Usually that would give me a clue. Yep, found it here. Hey, I got a cease and desist. Sorry, a cease and desist from Zeta Tech. They say I'm using that lift in my shop without a license. What is this? I bought the whole shop from them. Spent my life savings on it. They want to they want to get me again because of some license? Could you check and see if they made a mistake somewhere? And what sort of eddies are we talking about here? Gaston, I contacted Zitotech on your behalf, and it does seem that the equipment in the shop was not included in the deed. 
You bought the shop building. For walls, the floor, and the ceiling. That's it. I asked about the price of the tech, but they're unable to give an estimate because the shop in which it's located has been bought out. But I'm the one who bought it out. Think I would know. So what do we do now? Now they have to buy it back from you, and since prices have fallen in the area, you stand to lose a fair amount. But then we have priority to buy it back, and if we want to speed up the process, we could give them an offer right now to purchase the shop and equipment along with a loan approval for whatever is needed to cover the difference. That's the good news. Bad news is the equipment costs about double the shop itself. Fine, I don't know. Go ahead and file that loan application so I don't lose my chance. Then I'll think it over some more. Besides, what's a shop without equipment? I can't even work without it. Alright, Gaston, it's all ready. I just need your signature and you can reopen. Great, thanks for the help. It's hard to deal with this all by myself. I'm going back to work, finally. Wow, he really got screwed up. Wow. That is so sad. Let me contact Regina right now. Wait, what am I doing? Oh. See you around. Vivi. Remember, the media lies. Sorry, I was meant to message Regina. Huh, <laughs> the media lies. I bet she's one of those conspiracy theorists. Okay, so auto shop owner was on a rampage, had to take him down. The way corpse here gobble up small businesses, it's almost painful to watch. Before they even clock what's happening, the owners are locked out of their own premises and slapped with a colossal debt. Then they bust their asses for the corp from morning to midnight to make ends meet. Looks like this one preferred to take his own life than give up the one place that was his. See how quickly the American dream can turn into the American nightmare? That is so cliche coming from you, Regina. But I get it. I get it. Land of screwing people over. Where am I? Why am I in this abandoned place? Go to the bus depot? Who's there? Gangoon. Okay. Do I just walk wide in or V this time I need you to restore the natural balance in this city. A Valentino drug to come has gone unpunished. You can change that. If you find out who's covering for the ganger, I'll pay extra. Spect attached. Okay, so obviously someone saw me, but I'm still gonna read this because why not? I wanna know exactly what I'm getting myself into. A few weeks ago, a police officer was shot dead. Same old story. Some Valentino kids got into a scrap with the badges. The fatal, the fatal piece of lead was shot by a ganger named Jose Luis. The investigation was dropped and officers from the local precinct were told to back off. Pretty interesting turning of events, won't you say? Jose must have some friends in high places. Here's the deal. One of the officers wants Jose to be brought to justice, which is where you come in. If you happen to find out who's protecting the Valentino, I'll throw an extra. Good luck. Oh, we got, we got the, okay, a couple of snipers, let me go and just start, nope, come on, I can't believe I'm battling a Valentino here, I wonder what, um, come on, I can't use my, hold on, Damn, I sliced her, and she was trying to come at me with a knife. Nope, sorry. I sliced her hand. Look, look at his face! Holy shit, I sliced his face! You know, it's so cool how I'm able to just ton on my way into killing so many heads. 
And it's like... Excuse me? Can you see that again? Oh, you can't, because you're dead. Do -do 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 -do. Come on, let me get your weapon. You know what? Who, who are you supposed to be, my man? That face mask? And you. Thank you. What's this? Another one? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Perfect. I just love how they're running towards me. Totally makes it so much easier for me to kill you. So, I'm pretty happy. Okay, so does that hurt? Nah? Okay. Who's shooting? You? Get your ass down here, because I'm not about to chase you. Can you spot this? the two things that don't match? Give up. Hint one, Militech. Hint two, Valentino. Huh. Interesting. So it seems like there's a possibility that that someone is hiding. Either that or someone is playing dirty. Yo, what is this? Look at all these clothes. I can't wait to try them on. Okay, so I... You know, I gotta admit, the dialogue that you just said, it's a little cliche. Very cliche. Where you at? You done? Ew, you're leaking! That's nasty. Okay, there has to be something I can find here. Ooh, money, hell yeah. But usually who would have thought? Well, well, either they're planning a costume party. Or they're gearing up for a different sort of party. I'm intrigued in either case. Yeah, they have armor, the the cars, like what are they doing? Our friend of many years fell in battle during a shootout with the NC Pigs, Gonzalo Rivero. He was like a brother of us. If you want to pay your respects, not like it's a fucking choice, go to La Cantarina Funeral Home. Praise be to Santa Muerte, and remember, she gives life as she takes life. Greeting, my name is Gon Sucketh My Mar Sulinth. And I am Mongol Techno Shaman. I come from Ulaanbaatar, where I give help with people's cybernetics and spirits. I help many people grow up with evil spirits that live in old cyber implants. Many commit suicide. I write to you because I have been kidnapped by soul oil agents who make exper experiments on me to learn my abilities and make money. I break into their network to send this one message before they notice me. I ask you to send money to attach accounts so my family can pay so, so of oil to free me. Please save my life. I will return the money and more when I am free. Shut the hell up. This is some, some, ooh, what's this? Oh, that's the sniper. Next. Okay, the front entrance. The back. That's it. Hold on. Hold on. Why am I stuck? Come on. 
Can I not click on this? Hold on. Stop hating. Huh. I don't see anything here. What's this? Uh, it's just some reading material that I don't really care for at the moment. Hey! Uh. Now who's talking shit, huh? Now who's talking shit? I heard you, asshole. Alright, alright. So, where am I going? Hold on. Somewhere on the second floor. Ooh. Take that. Ew! Cockroaches! Alright, maybe here I'll be able to find some clue. No? Okay. Let me see. Jose, our patience has its limits. We paid your bail because we already invested in you, and investments need returns. But you're not untouchable. You fuck up again, you get in another gang shootout, or instead of our help, you'll get a rope around your neck. Remember, Arkasaka pays for solving problems and punishes for creating new ones. Oh, and stay close to the hollow. We'll call you soon and tell you exactly how you're going to attack our facility. Remember that people need to die and that you have to use the Militech equipment we give you. To the media, it has to look like a Militech squad attacked an Arasaka facility. That is all. That is sick. It was planned all along. Anyways, what goods can I get? I'll take that. Ooh, I'll take that. I'll take all this money. Damn, I just love scavenging, man. It's the best. I'll take that. I'll take this. I'll take that. I love scavenging food. I know. I know. I'm one of those. What's this? Nah, that's just some light read. There, so no one's able to eat. How about that? The greatest crime of all. Not being able to eat. Alright, so I'm ready to go at this point. So. I'll jump. Oh shit! I'm leaving! Oh wait, they're hiding. Let's go! I'm running! And I escaped, because I'm a boss. Amazing. Spectacular. Alright, let me call. It's me. Took care of Jose. Nice work. Really, really nice work. Did you learn who busted him out after he killed that badge? Arasaka. Arasaka. You're telling me a mega cool was involved in the killing of some ordinary big cop? True, I have evidence. Joffrey's death was an accident. Jose was covered for another reason. I'm still listening. He and his crew were hired to launch a full-blown assault on an Arasaka facility. And do it using Militech equipment. Attacking Arasaka. On Arasaka's behalf. Shit. You need to get out of there. Seeing as I'm already here, I could stick around, try to find out more. Won't find nothing you don't already know. Location's already blown. You know more than you're telling. Spill. I'm just speculating here, but... Out with it. 
There's a good chance that Arasaka is looking to pick a serious fight with Militech. Maybe even all-out war. And? Jose's hit was meant to be their excuse? Kinda slim, don't you think? It's not just Jose. I've heard of other cases. Same M.O. This runs deep, V. But why war? You're still picking up pieces from the last one. No bigger smokescreen than war. Maybe they need the attention of something else. Not sure I even want to know. You, Padre? Not this time, no. Not my board. Not my game. See you around, B. Yeah, be seeing you. Wow. That is such a conspiracy. Ooh. Your bonus is ready to collect. I have one more favor to ask. Let's forget this ever happened, hmm? Get closed. Oof, okay. The fact that Irasaka and Militech are trying to go to war with each other is insane. And for Irasaka to hire someone to act like Militech, just so Irasaka has a reason to go after them, is insane. Sorry. Hell yeah! Nine grand, baby! Whoa, I'm in an abandoned building? No, I'm in the Valentinos. What am I doing here? Get inside Tucker's building. Another of God's wayward daughters is long due for judgment. I need someone who can hasten her journey to stand before the Lord. Details attached. A girl died a while back in the Glen. Her name was Rosita. I knew her. 17 years old, picture perfect smile. Got hit by a car while she was crossing the road. I saw the CCTV, almost tore her legs off clean. If she's gotten to the emergency room sooner, she might have lived. Who knows? But it was the middle of the night. Empty street. Driver fled the scene. Oh no, it's a hit and run. Are you kidding me? I hate those things. Soon enough, the NCPD found our culprit. Lady's name, Tucker Elback. Vice Managing Director or something at Kurishi. Her insurance covered... Uh, sorry. The nuclear manslaughter, so as far as the NCPD is concerned, she's off the hook. Only punishment she got is her insurance raising her premium. Hardly a slap on the wrist. Over my dead body, this isn't what justice is supposed to look like. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, hand for a hand, wound for a wound. You'll see that once Tucker gone, and you're gonna pull the trigger. You know what they say, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind, but you know what? Why not? Question is, how would I get in? Do I just kill them all automatically? Or is there a way for me to just... This gun is nice, but you know what? You know what? My katana is nicer. And I'm gonna kill every single person here that is in my way. Because why not? Why not? Besides, I gotta sell some stuff too, so... Your dad ass gonna shoot me? Okay. I just love how all these people are defending her. It's cute. Oh, she's upstairs. Okay. Bet. Nope. Sorry. That ain't gonna happen. Did you see how he got folded? That was so funny. 
Oh shit, I'm carrying too much. Oh, I'm carrying too much. Damn it. Let me take a moment and just get rid of some of my items. Give me a quick second. Okay, so I disassembled enough where I'm able to use the parts to make more med kits and stuff. I'm actually in her house, I just realized this. So she had all of these security guards because she knew in her heart. Hey, hey, take it easy, let's talk! Why not? Curious how you're gonna be able to warm your way out of this one. You gonna tell me you didn't see that girl? So down! What do you mean? What girl? The one whose blood was all over your limo? Oh! That! Whew! <laughs> I thought one of my competitors sent you. Look, this is all some gonk misunderstanding. I'm insured for accidents. Compensation's already been paid out. Case closed. Wow. And as for this job of yours, I'm sure we can come to some kind of professional understanding. 30 seconds. Change my mind. Someone paid you to take me out, right? Her mom, dad, fiancé, whoever. I don't know how much they promised you, but I'm certain my safe has more. A lot more. You let me go, everything in there is yours. And I'll transfer somewhere else in the city. Nobody, your fixer included, will have to know. It's a win-win. The only place you're going is to the morgue. Ha! <laughs> Look at her! Wow. Wait, what's this? My name is Merlin for you know, you don't know me. People like you and me don't often cross paths. You work on the top floor of a skyscraper while I pick trash off the curb a hundred floors down. But for those rare exceptions where we do it, usually ends in tragedy. Two weeks ago, you hit a young woman with your car. The hour was late. It was dark. No one saw a thing. If you had stopped and called for an ambulance, she might still be alive. But I guess you had an important meeting over cocktails to get to. That girl bled out on the sidewalk. Her name was Rosita, and she was my daughter. You made me bury her. Ever since she was born, I set aside every spare any I could for education. But that money won't go to waste. It's all going to the good cause, the higher killer who's going to blow a hole through your arrogant brain. Hey, you heard what happened. Really fucking sorry. <laughs> with this with the sad emoji face. Worst move ever, but I know you'll bounce back and show them what you're made of. Appreciate the support. No problem. Don't give up, girl. I'm not planning on it. That's the spirit. Now she's dead. Dead as hell. Damn, I found two grand. Look at her. She was eating sushi while drinking. Fuck out of here. She is so arrogant. I'm glad she's dead. I I'm glad I killed her, honestly. To think she was trying to bribe me? Cabinets. HR, whatever. Let's go. I'm done with... Well, let me see. Is there anything else I can steal? No. Look at her living up. Look at this. Shish kebabs. Fuck out of here. She's not remorseful at all. I can tell. It's a lie. Take this. Nice bathroom. Whatever. Eh, schedules and schedules. Bullshit. Look. Take out. 
I didn't know Miss Billionaire had the guts to even eat takeout food. There I am leaving. Or not. Hold on. Let me take a few more guns. I need it. If I'm not going to use it to create more med kits, then I'm just going to go and sell them. Alright. And the spirit of the Lord came upon him, and he went down to Ashkelon and slew 30 men. Plus, Tucker Albach. Well played, V. Bloody, but efficient. Closing the contract. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.